Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Bug Fables the Everlasting Sapling. Uh, last time we cleared the Harvest Festival basically, uh, it ended with a little boss battle with Acolyte Aria here, and now we have access to the Golden Hills, which in theory is where we will find the second artifact. Uh, you can see the mask on the right side there, we're gonna get whatever goes with it. <laughs> Off we go! I feel weird. No kidding, even the air feels strange. This is not sacred land in name alone, there must be forces at play we can't see. We won't let it stop us though. <laughs> Visitors? How nice of the two of you to come here. Goodness. Eep, that plant can talk! Can't count, though. Huh? So there's three of you. I see. Hmm. So that's how it is. So what brings you here? Come to take in the sights? We're here for the artifact, fame and riches! Hmm, <laughs> such reckless greed. How impure. Impure? Dear plant, we assure you there is more at play than mere riches. Yeah, right. You bugs always say the same. Nice going, V. If you want to get the artifact, you'll have to get to the top. Let's see if some fly traps will eat you before then. <laughs> v, announcing openly you were here to take treasure wasn't very smart. I mean, I wasn't going to lie or anything. We're sure that's the reason. Whatever, you heard it. Treasure's at the top, so let's get climbing. Let's be careful. Something feels off about this place. Okay, so we want to go up here, uh, but to do that we need to get an object to put in this hole, which we don't have yet. So we've got to figure that out first. Also, that's a chomper. Uh, we're going to attack it first, and then we're going to scan it. Chompers are the worst, they bite you really hard and even heal while doing it. And then they summon tinier, annoying chompers. I'm gonna take it out before it can. Okay, so chompers have some defense, not much, but they do have some. Uh, so watch out for that. Thankfully, we have some defense piercing techniques, so we should be alright. Just gonna do a little bit of an ice fall here. Here we go. Job's done. Dun, 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 dun. A little bit of mild platforming to do here. Uh, we do want to head directly over here, so. It's okay if your teammates fall to their deaths, they don't actually die. <laughs> uh, crystal berry. Uh, I don't know who's talking, let me just try to move everyone around a little bit. What a vast space. Doesn't seem like there's a way to cross. Nah, it's fine, I see a lot of cranks. I just have to be smart with the beamerang. You mean the A, P, B, D? Isn't it the A, B, D, P? It's the beamerang. Cuties. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, these fly traps like grab you if you just stand on them for a little while. They don't do any damage. It just, oops, fell down a hole by accident. <laughs> yeah, we have to just hit these with the beamerang. As you can see, they make some spin. And we can line them up in different arrangements. It can be a little finicky lining up the boomerang in just the right spot sometimes. There we go. Oh, 
I like the music here too. It's it's got a little bit of a mysterious vibe to it. It's fun. Um, I pretty much like all the music in the game. I don't think there's anything that is unpleasant sounding. It's just some nice music. Uh, we hit the other one. Oops. <laughs> yeah, the platforming can be a little bit janky. It's not a big deal, it's still like very playable, but it can be a little bit silly. It's good that it doesn't do damage if you fall in a, in a hazard or something, because that would be frustrating. Oh gosh, that's a lot of enemies. Um, I'm just going to leave with an ice fall, see if we can get some people. Oh, that's a good start. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay, so Hurricane Toss is useful because it actually pierces defense. Um, among other things, it's, it's very useful. Uh, it is a good ability. Uh, I don't really want to use it though. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, forward defense. That's a lot. Oops. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that could happen. <laughs> uh... Okay, uh, we're doing good, doing good. Block. And throw. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Get some nice stuff. I nailed that. Some more berries. Do you like berries? This is going to be an annoying arrangement with lots of enemies again. Mm, sort of. Uh, oh, right, we're running out of, of um, TP. There'll be ways to replenish it more easily later on, but we don't have them yet. Uh, well, let's just start attacking. Uh, the timing for uh, chomper attacks is a bit weird. That should do another two because of defense piercing. And then because it's a plant, we should be able to take it out pretty easily. Yep. Uh, I kind of want to backtrack and hit the save point just so we can replenish. Our uh, TP take a little while, but that's okay. Oh, whoops! Got to turn the other one as well. Also use an item, but it seems a bit wasteful when I can just walk back. Uh, we'll stop. See we'll see a lot fewer of these yellow uh, save points later on, so using items becomes more practical uh, as an alternative. And we'll see some other stuff that, like, actually costs resources and not just backtracking. But uh, in the early game, you get a lot of yellow save points, so you may as well use them. Oops. I can wait long enough. Okay. Oh, 
hiccups. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, the platforming is a little bit fiddly. It's probably one of the weaker parts of the game, but it's not bad enough that it ruins anything. There's just so much, like, love and flavor and everything. It's just beautiful. Uh, okay, here we got a bit of a puzzle, actually. Um, we need to make our way up here. This first part's pretty simple. You just gotta you know, twirly whirly the thing. There we go. Easy peasy. But this next part will be a little bit trickier. Yeah, uh, you have to time time it so that you can hit that other crank from over here as you're moving up. The two cranks have the same effect, but you want to be able to spin the other one um, in order to go into that third platform, basically. Oop. Or you can mess it up, that works too. <laughs> You can also go here, but this is just like a backtracky sort of side path thing. It doesn't really help that much. There's an enemy to fight though, which is nice because we can get some more experience. So yeah, you can flip those guys and pierce their defense by using a hurricane toss, which is nice. Uh, it's gonna use up all my TP right away. Probably not the best plan. Uh, we'll eventually have ways to recover TP a bit more efficiently, but not just yet. I did already mention say that, so I'm just kind of looping in my dialogue now, like an NPC. <laughs> right now the most efficient way is probably leveling up. But we're doing that fairly regularly, because you should get quite a lot of experience. Oh, oh, there's a miracle seed here, that's pretty good. Magic seed. Just called a magic seed, but it, it is a seed that does some miracles, so you know. And then you can just go over here to get back to this spot. So yeah, the way it's actually supposed to go is this way. Crack, 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 crack. And you get into this platform. Wait for it to go up. Jump. Like that. And that gets you over here. And there's a lot more enemies. Oh my goodness. Okay, Icefall. Icefall is really good. I, I think I mentioned, like earlier in the playthrough. The first time I used Icefall, I just thought it was terrible. But it is actually a really, really good ability. It is very, very powerful. Um, and there's pretty much no reason not to use it. Except that you've got to pay for it, because it costs TP to use. Uh, da -da 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 Okay, there we go, job done. Oh. Yeah, we're very close to leveling again. You found a wooden crank. It should fit in a slot somewhere to control nearby mechanisms. So these lifts move differently when the cranks turn. Gold star, Kabu. So the green ones go down and the brown ones up? Indeed, how nice of them to colour code them. <laughs> just, uh, just explain the puzzle. Uh, anyway, we solved the puzzle. Let's go. That crank we found can go here. One crank. Do, 
I'm not sure what the right timing for blocking these guys is. <laughs> I've been having trouble with this for the whole playthrough. Um, they're the weakest enemy in the game and they're still causing me problems. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's just another little puzzle here. Moving all the blocks, all the uh, platforms around and stuff. There's a midge over there. Watch out for those. You had a feeling there'd be two of them. back one, the front one's gonna react, right? Yeah. Okay. But then I can attack this one again. Attack again. Okay, I'm not blocking properly when I do that. That was good. Please. Now there's only one of them, so they can't counterattack anymore. Which makes this much, much easier to finish off. And hopefully that'll be enough to level me up. I think it will be. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, the reason we're over here is that there's a badge. Back support medal. Boost the ally at the back's defense by one. Um... That's really good. Like, having extra one defense is really good. Look how expensive it is. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to switch off some of these poison things. Uh, and the HP plus DBH. So that we can turn on back support. Because uh, that's going to be very helpful. Because, yeah, one defense is significant in a game like this. Uh... This looks like a job for the Beamerang. Mm-hmm. The Professor's upgrades actually helped out a ton. We should probably start thinking of a performance report when we see her again. Um, report? Right. We will deal with that later. Let's focus on the mission. Clack, 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 clack. Ooh, uh, we're not really in a fit state for this fight. Uh, let me see. Let's move Carbo to the front. And have him... No, let's have uh, V use some sort of item that replenishes things. <laughs> let's use a glazed honey. Yeah, uh, then we can use an ice fall, and these are both plants, so they should be vulnerable to it. Like so. Yep, that's a good start. Quite what I had in mind. Um, I can't hit that. Um, 
Let's just feed someone an egg. Have an egg, V. I know you're asleep, but eat it anyway. Wow, I blocked all three. I'm amazing. <laughs> uh, v, let's get out the front and take this thing down. Oh my goodness. So powerful. And with that, we level up. Uh, okay, I picked health, but I should have been picking TP. So I need to pick TP, then metal, then TP, then metal in order to get back in sync. I think? Is that right? I want more teamwork points anyway. <laughs> Right, that's what that does. I'd forgotten exactly what you're supposed to do in this puzzle. <laughs> okay. Um, oops. I pressed beam ring instead of jump. Yeah. It wasn't quite what I had in mind. Ascend. I don't know if a midge attacks you if you hurt something that's not a midge. Uh, let's find out. Or maybe not find out if I manage to freeze it. We'll see. Well, I froze it, so... I guess we don't know. Um... Okay. Thank you for the berries. Uh, this gives us a big crank bottom half. You should look for the other half. Okay, I will. <laughs> uh, the other thing we want to get though is what's over there. To the right. Um, so we're gonna need to spin this lower part again, which means we have to go up here. Do, 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 do. Okay, but let's do it better. There we go. Spin, 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 spin. Okay. Okay, then we can jump onto this green platform, onto this green, this brown platform, onto this green platform, and then we can go up. That will get us something. I forget what though. There's a burly berry. Is that all though? Hmm. Maybe that was all. Maybe I was supposed to hit that crank. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played this particular part in the game of the game in a while because it's a long game. It has a lot of parts, so. Can't super remember, but let's just check what this crank does. It might actually just be the same as the other crank, or it might be something different and exciting. It's the same as the other crank. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Well, um, we're actually done on this side of the Golden Hills now. Uh, on the opposite side, we get, you might be able to tell from what we've got so far, you get the other half of the big crank. It's kind of obvious. Okay, stop. Uh, did it stop in the right position? I can't, I can't tell. No, it did not. <laughs> okay, that's better, I think. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're done on this side. Next time, we're gonna go over to the right side over here to get the rest of the big crank. But we're coming up on about a half hour now, so I'm gonna call it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we do the this side of the Golden Hill, let's have a little sneak peek. Ooh, ooh, there's a chomper. There's gonna be a chomper. Get ready. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye!